Couple things. You'll have a progress report in about three hours. I've got grades. I, I, last week was a weird one with Blackboard. I had a bunch of people that couldn't get logged into Blackboard. Maybe you were one of those people. I understand that sometimes that happens. Blackboard does go down. A lot of you did, obviously. That's totally fine. So I had a bunch of hard copies that I graded on Friday. Francis graded a bunch of stuff electronically as well. Now I'm hearing from a couple students that some of the comments were hard to read in Blackboard. I'm gonna look into that. If one of you reminds me, Donnie, if you don't mind, shoot me an email. Let me look into that and see if there's some kind of global setting I can change to make that better. Mm -hmm. uh, I will get into that and look, because I, I didn't realize they were illegible. I apologize for that. Um, the only comment that I got from her was interpretation of probability. This was one of the ones she said a bunch of people had been docked. She said like the most common, uh, the most common project score was 23. Because there was a, <laughs> I'll translate yes, and it pisses me off. Because people miss the, what does the probability in part D mean? I think that was the question. It was about the eczema. If both parents have eczema, what's the chance the kid's gonna have eczema too? And you, got me the, you guys got the numbers perfectly, as I knew you would. You take seven divided by 10, you get 0.7. You do three divided by 10, you do 0.3. You're like, okay, I got that, right? But then what does that 0.3 mean? And I think what a lot of people said was, they said there's a 30% chance of it. That's not an interpretation. That's a restatement of your last answer. What does it mean to have a 30% chance? What, and go ahead, go ahead, Randall. That means out of 100, if you did a test of 100 people, 30 of them would most likely, on average over time, did the thing. Did, did have whatever characteristic. What if you did 1,000? Then it would be, if it was 30% of 1,000, that'd be their 300. What if you did 10,000? Are you seeing that the, the point is, the 30% is a ratio that happens over repeated trials. Somewhere in that answer, you had to have a nod to the repeated trials. That's why I said you might want to look at the meaning of probability to help you answer this. And if you, if you flipped back to that box, in that box it talked about the idea of repeated trials. If you just tell me it's a 30% chance, that doesn't explain what a 30% chance means. It just restates the answer. It's 0.3, 30%. But 30% of what? Of all the trials you see over a long period of time, you'll see 30% of them having that characteristic, whether it's eczema, or whether it's punctatoni fill getting the correct prediction, or whether it's being struck by lightning when you're holding a cell phone versus being struck by lightning when you're not holding a cell phone. Whatever you're analyzing, it's a, relation, it's a relationship of the percentage to that large number of trials. Does that, does that, does that make sense? You had to have that nod to extended periods of time somehow in there. Now, if you think you did, shoot me an email. I'll go back and look. Graders, like myself, are not perfect. We do make mistakes. I'd be more than happy to take a look at yours. I do, Joanne. I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll take a look at yours if you want me to. A couple of you have already emailed me, and I'm going to be taking a look at yours when I get back to the office today. If you think you had everything you needed to have in there, I'll go back and look at it. For sure. For sure. Just let me know. Okay? And that's another thing I wanted to say. I wanted to make sure you guys put your minds at ease. When you get your grade back, if you think you got something right and it was marked wrong, just tell me. I'll go look, for sure, okay? I'm not a grading Nazi. I'll go back and look. We do make mistakes, it happens. We try not to, we try not to anyway. But we, but we do from time to time. So by all means, you shoot me a note, I'll go back and take a look. Cool? Also, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised when you get your email progress reports. You guys are always doing better than you think you are. Always. I mean, always. Yes, you don't give me that crap. <laughs> You always are doing better than you think you are because there's little points that Blackboard doesn't have in it that my grade books do. And Blackboard can't have it in there because I don't know how to put them in there. So I just keep them in Excel. And that's why the emailed progress reports, which look like they're going to be coming every Monday instead of every Friday. I don't think Friday's going to work. Because I hate, I hate emailing you guys five times a week if I can help it. Because it just pisses you off and you're like, God, it's rule again. You start spam blocking me. Cool? That was the only big thing that I heard from Fran from the project. From stuff that I'm seeing, the stuff that I'm grading to, it looks good. Everything looks really, really good to me. So, cool. But if you ever have a concern with something that got marked wrong, just let me know. Let me know, I'll look at it. Happily. Happily. I'll walk right to Blackboard and take a look. Ask me questions. Please. Wait. Jace. That's, that's the grader doing some of the projects and some of the quizzes. Yeah, that's, that's J Jace. Yes. Jace, okay, yes. She has been grading for about a year and a half. Okay. She knows the ins and the outs. Can you read her comments that she's got on there? She doesn't have anything. She does not say, give me that crap. But you get what she's saying? She puts like the same as and then like puts up on top of like something that I remember seeing. I'll go in and take a look. I will take a look. It was just like 
you wrote like meaning of statistics. Meaning of probability. Hmm. Maybe it was a repeated mistake. I'll take a look. It was repeated repeated mistake. Maybe. That explains it. That's what she said. Well, let me take a look. That's why I'll take a look. That's why I will take a look. I guarantee. Lily, go. No. I'm sorry. Oh. That's well, if you think if you think you got that too many, let me know. I'll take a look happily. Yeah, that's right. Well, here's the problem. Though. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Because if you're like really right now, hang on now, hang on now. I, I totally see. I see your point, Scott. And here's one thing I want you to watch. And this is something that's easy for graders to forget. Make sure you guys aren't knocked for cascading errors. Here's what a cascading error is. Think of number two on your project, where you had to calculate part A, which was interpreting the one and three and knocking it down to a 0.33, I think that was the first one. And then part B was the complement, which would have been 0.67. Suppose you screwed up the first part, and for some reason you thought it was, I don't know, 0.4. If you then took that 0.4 and did the correct math on that to get 0.6 in part B, and you lost points, that's what I call a cascading error. You shouldn't have lost points for part B. You should have lost points for part A. But part B was based on an incorrect input, which means I would give you those two points back. So watch for that. Watch for cascading errors. It will happen from time to time. On your exam, which I'll be grading next week, the, the exam about the, uh, the map question with the, uh, the, uh, the, the Measure 92 GMO, there, that's like a 12-point question. When I say 12 points, it's not like part A, part B, part C, part D. If you screw up in part A and carry that computation all the way to the end wrong, I'll see that and only dock you for part A. So you won't lose whatever 25 points, you'll lose three. And then the rest of it you did correctly on a wrong input. But try not to. The idea of letting you guys have all the time outside of classes so that you minimize those kinds of cascading things. Does that make sense? But do watch that, Lee, for sure. Watch that. Because I'll go back and fix that in a heartbeat. Yes, Scott? So the question I have is... I, I'm going to look at yours. I got, I got yours. No, I'm going to look I mean, at like, it. It's on that line. It's just that if it's, if it's just pronunciation, like essentially wording of like that statistical problem. Yes. If the calculations are correct. It's the wording that is sort of misformatted. Is that going to dock you all those points? It's going to dock you that one question. Oh, okay. That's that, that one question, part E, you was the interpretation. Right calculation. It has not do with the calculation. It's being able to turn the... Here's the way I like to think about it. What you should do is be able to explain it to your neighbor when you're both out trimming your shrubs on a fine spring day. I right, just read this study. It says you should... You should take Advil to prevent a third heart attack. Oh, really? Why? Because it reduces it. I don't know. I'm just making these things up now. It, apparently, it works good on second heart attack. Well, because apparently it knocks it down 40%. There's a 40% less chance that you're going to get a heart attack. Well, what does that mean? Okay, that has nothing to do with the calculation. We're trusting the calculation. Can you explain what a 40% less chance means to your neighbor? Can you explain it? That means they did a trial on 1,600 people. What? And 40% of those 1,600 with a margin of error showed a positive. In, that's, what you, that's what the point of that question is. So it is all about the pronunciation of it. My, my thinking is that I gave a sentence answer. That's why. Like that. And Scott, I'm going to look at it. Thing. I'm going to look at okay. it. Because then it becomes interesting to grade because it's a judgment call about did you get the overtime part. i got to look. I can't do it without looking at it. Cool? Okay. So if you have a concern, let me know. I'll take a look. Guaranteed. Guaranteed.